Hey guys, let's have some real talk. Got a minute? Starting a few years ago, I started to feel this overwhelming weight come on me at certain times. And I didn't really know what it was. And I was just kind of like asking God, like, what is going on? What is this? And I realized that this thing would come on whenever somebody had an expectation of me and I didn't live up to the expectation. Or maybe I had an expectation of myself and I didn't do everything the way that I thought I should. In my mind, it screamed guilt. And so I started to associate this feeling was with, with guilt. So I started to remind myself that there is no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. I started to tell myself the scriptures about guilt, but there was still it was still there. And it was like I was missing something and I didn't understand. I still, you know, I'm kind of like diving through some of this. And yesterday I had a breakthrough because although it was triggered by guilt, it never felt like just guilt. Bear with me, we're getting deep. And so yesterday this weight came on me and I'm driving around and I'm asking God, like, God, what is this? And I'm going through different words that are associated with guilt until I find what it is. Despair. Despair is a weighty thing that's the absence of hope. It's almost like darkness. And I felt myself there under that weight. And I was just like, God, I don't understand and then I started to notice that there was temptation all around me. And it was like in this despair, all of a sudden I'm being attacked and I, my attention is trying to be pulled away. And I'm like, God, help me keep my focus on you. And through this experience, God started to show me, started to open up to me what was going on. And what I started to realize is I put so much pressure on myself um, that people around me, whenever they expect something out of me, it hurts me not to be able to deliver. Whenever I think I'm going to do something, I have so much that I put into it that it all it, it puts me in despair whenever I don't live up to my own expectations. And then God gave me the revelation that it's because I have more faith in myself than I do in Him. It hit me like a ton of bricks, and I can tell you that it's a... Uh, it's still weighing on me. I'm not entirely sure how to deal with this. It, but it's not like I don't have faith in God. It's that I don't put that faith that I have in God as much as what I put in myself. And I justify it by saying, hey, you know, like I, you know, pray like everything depends on God and, you know, work as if everything depended on you. And yet I put so much work into everything that I'm so tired that I don't put the prayer time in that I want to. And so this is real talk. This is me right now. I'm walking through this and I'm saying, God, how do I learn to trust and learn to put my faith in you before myself? And I think he's sharing with me that the key is this. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. So I know that Paul was talking about the thorn in the flesh and this despair, this guilt. This isn't my thorn in the flesh. But God is using this verse in a new way, realizing more that his grace is sufficient for me, realizing more that that I can only access that grace by faith. That's the key for me, because in these times where I mess up, I need to reach for grace. And that's going to cause me to have to use faith and use my faith to reach for God. I don't need to work like it all depends on me. I need to pray like it all depends on God. And I need to spend more time there. I need to center my life a little bit more in the right direction. So this is a growth process for me. Maybe you find yourself in the same way. Maybe you just listen to the testimony and be encouraged, whatever it is. I just am thankful that we're riding this wave together. So thanks for spending time with me. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for spending time with the channel and promoting it. Thank you for all the support and thanks for spending a minute.